What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So Terra Luna Classic is making a little bit of a move today, especially after seeing what happened with Binance and, you know, um, you know, the SEC and everything that transpired there. And you saw Terra Luna Classic kind of take a dump, right? It really dropped down uh, pretty hard to where uh, I believe it was down like 17, 18 percent, maybe even more than that. But it was down a lot. You saw things that were, were falling, a lot of volume that was going in there, more towards the negative side and people that were selling, that were kind of done with it, um, that wanted to get out before the the news really took full effect with uh, Binance. Um, but it seems like that may have that may have happened. But again, you don't 100% know. But Terra Luna Classic is making a little bit of a move today after seeing that negativity. And I wanted to talk about that. But more importantly, I wanted to talk about the vision of it getting to a penny, right? There's that vision of getting to a dollar, and that's more, um, I guess, a little bit unbelievable compared to what you would see with a penny. While people compare the penny situation for Terra Luna Classic the same way to the penny situation for Shiba Inu, which it's not really lined up that way. Now, I've made um, a video kind of like this before explaining it to some people exactly uh you know why um Terra Luna Classic is so different than Shiba Inu um and getting to a penny and why you would be able to gather <clears throat> you know a hell of a lot of Terra Luna Classic and also um it be worth a, a lot more in the end so before we get into this <clears throat> Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at Perry AK, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about some of my links in the description for my referral links, um, you know, my Amazon store, my merch store, whatever, right? Go ahead and check all that stuff out. Links are in the description. But Terra Luna Classic recently you know, did drop down pretty hard, right? But you've seen it pick up uh, from some of these lows of 0 0.00008 um, all the way up to a level to where it has broken the the level of, you know, that added zero. And now it dropped that zero yet again. <coughs> now, this is a big thing, right? Seeing that drop zero again, it shows that it does have strength well above it. And you're not seeing that just consistent uh, plain movement and bland movement um, for a position, you're seeing the the hype that can be driven into it. You're seeing the the volume that can go into this, and the the spike that you can see with the position, which is phenomenal to see. So again, it did reach to a point to where it was at a drop zero again, so three zeros and a one. But it definitely has a long road from here, getting to three zeros and a one, all the way up to one zero and a one or one cent. So how can it physically get to that level, right? Again, people compare this situation to Terra Luna Classic. And when you see Terra Luna Classic and you see all the, or sorry, not Terra Luna Classic, when you see Shiba Inu with uh, all the supply that it does have, <coughs> the hundreds of trillions, you understand that a penny is going to be trillions uh, of dollars, right? A trillion dollar market cap. Um, however, if you go back to look at Terra Luna Classic, you're going to see that the supply is a lot lower. You're looking at not hundreds of trillions. You're just looking at single digit trillions. And when you see single digit trillions, this opens the door to get to that level, right? Not just saying like if it was a even double digit trillions, then you would still, you would push a penny kind of out of the door because that would be trillions of dollars worth of a market cap. However, for Terra Luna Classic, it's much simpler, right? You're losing two spaces. So when you see that lost, those two spaces lost, what does it have to get to? <coughs> Double digit billions. So for this, it only has to get to a 60 or $70 billion market cap, which I say only, it does have to find a way to get there. But with the amount of holders that you have within the position, it doesn't say that it's absolutely impossible to get to some of these levels. Um, we've seen it at a three to four billion dollar market cap, and even at a six or seven billion dollar market cap, you're looking at another drop zero. So 10% of a penny, 20% of a penny. And a lot of people have goals. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, man. Um, a lot of people have goals um, to get to some of these levels. And when they do get to a drop zero, get to two zeros and a one or two zeros and a two, they're gonna sell some of their position. And that's perfectly fine, right? It's a goal for somebody, right? You're getting to a level where currently it would be at a 10X if you did drop one more zero. 
And if you dropped another zero, it would be 100x. So while you're looking at your $1,000 that you're holding, it could be worth $100,000 at a level of a penny. So it's not too far-fetched to say that this can get to a $60 billion market cap. It's not too far-fetched to say it can get to a $70 billion market cap, even though um, what has been proven in the past, because we haven't seen the official uh, you know, crazy bull run that we wanted to see, um, putting you know tens of trillions into the market cap, um, overall market cap, uh, not just Terra Luna Classic. And since we haven't seen that, we don't know the max potential of where Terra Luna Classic will be and where it will fall on the list of the top 100 or top 200, right? And <clears throat> what that will transpire, like, or what that will equal up to when it comes to the market cap. Will it be a $60 billion market cap between uh, one to 100 uh, by market cap? Who really knows? Will it be a $60 billion market cap at one to 200? Who really knows? I know that number one, number two, maybe number three, all the way to number 10 probably will be over that $100 billion mark. But can Terra Luna Classic make that way up there? And honestly, I think it still does depend on where the path goes. When people see the path, then they start to apply that to future potential, to a long-term potential rather than something that's short-term and, hey, I'm going to trade it make some money from this now and hopefully you know i can make some money a lot of money from this um in the future <coughs> but they're trading it with kind of speculation on whether we're going to see something happen you know short term and you know seeing long term as a very minimal option and maybe no option at all so you have to have a path that's set forward to show you where that's going to go. But honestly, with the amount of holders that are in the position, right, the amount of supply that they do have, it's not unheard of to get to a $60 billion market cap or even $70 billion market cap with the fully diluted, um, you know, supply. Um, so that's where my take is, right? We're seeing it run. We're seeing it make a move. It's nowhere near what it used to do at 30%, 40%, 50%, 100% up. Um, but maybe... Um, in the near future, we can see those pushes. And I think especially with more of a bull run, um, we will see that happen. But it really all depends on what goes on with this whole SEC situation and exchanges, because that's really where the money is, as well as seeing US being able to purchase crypto and stay with cryptocurrency rather than being kind of pushed out by the SEC. So let me know your opinion, guys. Do you think it's possible? Am I laying this out right? Do you believe that one uh, one cent is definitely possible? Um, or do you feel like, you know, $70 billion market cap is just too much? Even just a $7 billion market cap uh, for this position would be uh, a level where you see that drop zero. And that drop zero means a lot to the normal person, it means a lot to you, means a lot to me, um, because that's a 10x from where we are now. And if I'm holding forty or $4,000, that's $40,000 just from this position. And remember, I only invested $40 into this. So anyways, guys, let me know your opinion down below. Do you think it can get there? Um, I always like to have this discussion. There's a lot of people that don't believe it. There's some people that are just like, no. Um, other people that are like, yeah, I believe it can happen. But again, we need to see something you know transpire we need to see a path forward so guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya